Hello, so I'm here with Cez Buenaventura, the owner of the Zest Catering. So how does it feel to receive an award like that? This is very nice and it's very proud to receive this award. And I'm so happy to be part of this event. Absolutely. So what is the most important thing about tonight's event for you? Well, for me is to the unity, the unity of the Filipino who was here and then unite, you know. So I'm so happy and then congratulations to Tita Darna. Hi, so I'm here with Odette Manalastas, one of our awardees of the 100 Outstanding Filipino Americans. She's actually a business entrepreneur. So how are you feeling tonight? Oh, wonderful. I'm just elated. It's nice to be with this elite group. You know, it's humbling to hear how you know, I, I, do I even belong here, you know, because everybody has such big accomplishment. But I do believe in, you know, every little things that we do, big or small, it helps towards a better future. What do you think about Filipinos doing fundraising events? Hey, the more the merrier, let's all do it collectively, all the time. We should not stop, you know. Very well said. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with uh, Mr. Fernandico Gonong Jr., our state architect, also uh, one of the awardees of the 100 Outstanding Filipino Americans. How are you doing tonight? Good, thank you. How does it feel to receive such an honor? Blessed, I think. That's the uh, word I can say. And honored uh, to have a chance to be in this program fundraising to help the Filipino and um, proud of it now hope to continue this uh, tradition yearly so we can help more in the Philippines how important is it for us Filipinos to to help you know our Kababayan suffering back home I think when it comes to fundraising we should be all together uh, throughout those crop mentality drama and etc because the bottom line is everybody want to make a, a you know a cake to deliver it to the philippines and have something to eat and that's it no matter what when it comes to fundraising let's all go and i think it should be that way so i'm here with angelique of the real estate and also the president of the First Nations Funding, a mortgage corporation. So how do you feel about you getting the award? Oh, I feel very, very good, very happy tonight for the award. I'd like to thank the Filipino community for always supporting us uh, for all these years. Uh, with First Nations Funding, it's a mortgage corporation. We do loans for residential or commercial and also to, for real estate sales, for short sales, REO. I'm so happy that I'd be a part of helping our Filipino, fellow Filipinos with regards to all of their real estate needs, and especially during this distressed market that I'd be able to assist them in keeping their home and saving their families in terms of keeping the abode in their home. And, you know, it's a nice feeling and I'm happy that I'm a part and I was nominated as one of the outstanding Filipinos um, in this event. You are an outstanding Filipino-American. What else is there for you? What else is about me? Uh, I, I guess, what's, oh, what's next to do? Well, I'll continue to, be, to get involved in the Filipino community because I always believe that we, will, we should support our Kababayans and the Pinoys, whether it's in politics, business, or, you know, the people around us. So we're here with Dr. Lana Galicia, one of the awardees of the 100 Outstanding Filipino Americans. So how are you doing tonight? I'm doing marvelous, thank you. How about yourself? I'm doing great, thank you so much. Oh, so, um, one question, how important is it for Filipinos to give back to the community? Well, we are so blessed, especially in this part of the, the world that we are uh, given the opportunity to give back to our community. And one, one way is that I think is to become cohesive, become cohesive members of society, we have to identify the needs of our our brethren back home, primarily the children. So I think it's really critical to recognize that need, uh, especially this time. Do you think it's important for Filipinos to get involved in this fundraising, not only to benefit the uh, recipients here, but also our Kababayans back home? Well, I believe it is our purpose. 
especially when we are so blessed financially or uh, uh, we have we were given that opportunity i think we need to give back it is not it is it's not the question of can we give i think we should give it is our purpose how does it feel to be part of this amazing event well um at first, there's some hesitation actually, because it's a little different from the regular award giving bodies and stuff like that. So, uh, to be honest, one of our motivations is like, okay, this is gonna go to the children in the Philippines, it's gonna go to charity, and that's that's the best part of this event. Um, and the people that supported it, and the people that came out and dined with us, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a testament that Filipinos are very giving, and they're very nationalistic. Uh, even if they live here in the USA, they think about the Philippines and they think about the children in the Philippines. And those people who are starving and hungry, I think it's important for us to do that. So it, it's a good thing. What do you think, guys, about the event? This is a great event. It's a great event for our Filipinos and just to show our support to the whole community of LA and just the entire country. So thank you. Uh, what do you think about Filipinos giving back to their community? I think it's great. I think it's um, something that definitely definitely needs to be publicized more. Um, Filipinos give a lot to the community, and this is a great event just to show people that, you know, just like other communities, we're here too, and we are definitely playing our part to help the children and, you know, the people that are less fortunate than us. So, hi, Philam. We're here with Darna Omayam, the project director of this 100 Outstanding Filipino American event. So, how are you doing tonight, Tita? Oh, so tired but fulfilled because it's so successful. Really, really successful. I would like, nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat na mga dumating ngayong gabi, sumuport tayo sa libo at nakabigay tayo ng 1 million peso sa Gawad Galinga. That is what is the winning, winning side of this event. How do you feel about it? You have a lot of supporters. 1,000 people came out to support you tonight. What, what do you feel? I feel elated. I feel magnip, magnanimous. I feel magnanimous. I feel like I can fly. <laughs> You are known to be a, a, a very successful community leader. You do a lot of fundraising events. How important is it really to help the people in need, not only here, but also back in the Philippines? Okay, since 1998, I've been helping our less fortunate kababayans in the Philippines, most especially the children, because I have a heart for the children, you know. And uh, marami na tayo natulungan, mga nasalanta ng biktima. Hindi naman tayo nagpapublicize kasi Pag tayo tumutulong, kailan ang gagaling sa kaibuturan ng puso natin yun. It's coming from the heart. So, talaga ngayong gabi, show of force. You know that it's, it's, uh, we have problems from the past, but, you know, it was all redeemed. You know, everything that was said and was written, this event rectified everything. It just proves that the Filipinos are really united. This is, of course, show of force and unity among Filipinos because we have only one goal, to help our fellow Kababayans, the less fortunate in the Philippines. It has been a very successful night for all of us here. Meantime, this has been your host, Lorian for Film TV. Sorry.